I'm Fred Furman, and I'm the stuffed animal wrestler. Fred Furman! Fred Furman! Fred Furman! Fred Furman! This, this is the most beautiful species of red bow tie carnival gorilla I've ever seen in all my life. Now, a red carnival bow tie gorilla like this, she would strike a man, boom! She'd take 300 men my size down with her, mate. That's the kind she is. But old, old Freddo, <laughs> I almost said Steve-O. Two, one. A species like this, of the red bow tie carnival gorilla kind, boom! She could take 300 men down, my size or bigger. She whap! She takes you down without a moment notice. And whatever you do, you never go wham! Or boom in front of them in the wild. It's very dangerous, mate. A red bow tie gorilla like this is so rare. It's so wonderful to find him in the wild. Oh, Freddo, he just loves his red bow tie carnival gorilla to death. And that's why I'm out here today. I am the stuffed animal wrestler. And I'm wrestling stuffed animals in the wild because I love them and I want to save them. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here, little red carnival stuffed bow tie gorilla. I'm here to tell you that I think you're beautiful. I love you, and I found a piece of your red bow tie. I want you to have it. Good little fella. Just whatever you do, never mention the word claw around one of these cute little stuffed rock moles. Because as soon as you mention the word claw, he's coming after me again, mate. He's down my shirt. Help, help, mate. Help. There goes the camera. <laughs> <What happened? laughs> I was, we got our first casualty. Are you all right? Yep. We're still taping. There's the camera all right? Yeah. What happened? I totally tripped. I'm like, Pleh! I dropped my headset. Oh, no. That's everything. All right. Guys, <laughs> he's also the producer. It's not like we have produced something posthumously. He's dead. Cut me down. Okay, wait, I gotta think of what I'm gonna say. Let me get the knees first. All right. Boy, he tore me up. Yeah. That made me realize. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Have a go at this. He really tore me up. He put a big hurt in an old Freddo. He knocked me around. And that's when I realized this isn't a stuffed camouflage rock mole. This is a stuffed camouflage wants to sit in your shirt and rest, mole. He's the kind not commonly found in these parts. But now that I've got him in my shirt, and he's rested quite nice and placid, and he's all easy going, just going down for a bit of tucker and a bit of a nap, well now he's happy. And I want to say you have a great day, because me and my little stuffed camouflage stay in your shirt, rock mole, I'm gonna take a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> Your first major blooper. Oh, I'm sorry. Stuff camouflage. Rock. <laughs> Stay in his shirt. Whatever he's called. Mole. And count me down. Wait, what am I saying about my legs? He tore me up. Boy, Cut me up. Tore me up. Okay. Ripped me to shreds, and that's what made me realize. All right. Good day, mate. Good day. Good day, mate. Good day. Good day, mate. Howdy. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey. Shoot. I'm not really from Australia. I'm from Texas. My real name's Pete. <laughs> oh, good day. Today, we are hot on the trail of the very rare, the very lovely, the very delicate Marshmallowcus Teddy Bericus. Gotta do that again. And count me down. Three, two, one. Today, we're hot on the trail 
of the very rare and the very coughing. <coughs> <coughs> All right, try that again. We're hot on the trail of the very rare and the very unusual stuffed disappearing pig, sometimes called the stuffed disappearing Unfortunately, you will not be able to hear the audio of this particular take of Fred Furman and the tritoned freshwater seahorse. We did not realize the technical error had happened until we had returned to the studios to view the footage. There, we decided to have Mr. Furman put on his soggy clothes and head back to the river for a second take. Action! Aha! Uh -huh. Now you can hear the audio is successfully being recorded during the second take of Fred Furman, tritoned freshwater seahorse. But if you look closely, you will see that Fred is not wearing his cool retro glasses. He's just wearing some normal wire rims. Oh, what a bummer. Unfortunately, we did not realize this technical error had happened until we had returned to the studio and Fred had changed clothes again and was sitting there watching the footage when he noticed, oh, those are not my normal cool retro glasses. So, we decided to have Mr. Furman put on his wet, soggy clothes to head back to the river for a third take of the Fred Furman Tri-Toad Freshwater Seahorse Adventure. And now you know the behind the scenes footage of Fled Fleur. Who? Oh, Fled Fleur. And now you know the behind the SIDS. SIDS. Uh, what is that? The SIDS, okay. Take, take three. And now you know the story of the behind. Behind. Now you know the. And now you know the behind the scenes story of Fred Furman and the Tritone Freshwater Seahorse. Yes! Okay, let me make sure I got the audio on. Today, mate, I'm Fred Furman, and today we've gone on a stuffy hunt, 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 a stuffy. If you meet a stuffy out in the wild, remember Fred Furman's five rules: that he's cat since a child, and since I'm from down under, I'll recount them back to front. Then you know what to do, mate, when you're on a stuffy hunt. One tick after that stuffy, like a lizard flat out drinking. Hunt. 